has just about resolved one internal battle by finally reaching a consensus on who should be its new president, Rajnath Singh, after many people expected it to be a second term for Nitin Gadkari. Now, will the party, in a sense, be split wide open on the question of who should be its prime ministerial candidate in 2014? Senior leader of the party, Yashwan Sinha, has set the cat among the pigeons by being the first leader of consequence to go on record saying it should be Narendra Modi. How will the allies react? How will Nitish Kumar react? The Shiv Sena is already urging for an NDA meeting. It wants to honor Bal Thakre's choice for Sushma Swaraj as prime ministerial candidate. How will all this internal turbulence impact the fortunes of the party? To discuss all this and more, joining us now is Yashwan Sena himself. By now you're used to controversy used to grabbing the headlines. Did you realize that your statement saying that the party should declare Narendra Modi as a prime ministerial candidate would attract the kind of attention and controversy that it has? No, quite frankly, I was surprised because, you know, this has been said uh, by many people on many earlier occasions and um, uh, it didn't create the kind of furore it's supposed to have it is just created now. And it has left me a little uh, surprised myself that uh, my saying it should attract so much media attention, uh, perhaps because, um, you know, the time for elections is coming closer. And uh, I also feel that just as we have resolved, as you said, our, uh, uh, the issue of how, who will be the BJP president, uh, very quickly, I think uh, the party and the NDA should reach a conclusion about who, if at all, will be our prime ministerial candidate. There is an option to not declare anybody at all. The Congress often, for example, says that that has been its philosophy. 2009 is, in fact, uh, one of the rare instances where they declared Manmohan Singh ahead of the elections. Uh, could the BGP explore that option that since naming anybody is contentious, not so much for the opposition, but for the opposition within the BGP, just don't declare anybody at all? Is that an option? That is that is always an option. But for, for you, everybody. is that a good option? I, I don't think uh, between not declaring and declaring, not declaring is a better option. To my mind, uh, declaring a candidate for the prime ministership will be a better option. And, uh, you know, whether we like it or not, elections in India have become presidential. Hmm. And in every election, whether a candidate, a party declares its candidate or not, you know, you know who is going to be the candidate for the top job on the other side. And therefore, um, you know, we should, we should, my personal view is that we should remove the confusion in people's mind. And especially, you know, as I have said earlier, people are clamoring for one person mm. to be named for this post. Uh, the, the workers of the BJP are um, making this uh, demand everywhere. Uh, people in general make this demand and, uh, you know, these are very ordinary people. You meet them at railway stations, you meet them at... Uh uh, why, why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? And that's a kind of thing which has been, um, I have been listening to for a not uh, for the last few days, but for many, many months now. Now, you say that uh, whether we like it or not, elections have become presidential. They've become personality-oriented. Yes. At the same time, uh, Mrs. Sinha, our politics has become more fragmented in the sense that we are living in a coalition era politics. Now, this means that you need somebody who's a consensus builder. It is often said that we haven't seen a pan-India leader since Atal Bihari Vajpayee somebody you actually were very close to. Now, if that is the case, and you look at Narendra Modi, while he's supremely successful in the state of Gujarat, he has not yet been described as a consensus builder by either his friends or his critics. Won't that be a problem with your allies? Uh, it should not be a problem because, um, you know, consensus building at the national level is a quality which will be tested only when he operates at the national level. Mr. Modi has been operating at the state level, at the level of the Gujarat state. And uh, <clears throat> he's, uh, he's been able to build a consensus within that state. 
um, you know, he's been able to hold uh, very successful meetings of vibrant Gujarat. And um, it is not merely captains of industry who have gone to that event from India. They have come from all over the world. And um, <clears throat> even, even, um, uh, even the Muslim population within Gujarat uh, now realizes that whatever may have happened in the past and mm. whatever happened was unfortunate indeed, um, their best bet is Narendra Modi rather than anyone else. But while captains of industry uh, pour accolades mm. Uh, and, 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 and you're right, there, are, there, there is much praise that comes from corporate India for Narendra Modi in every vibrant Gujarat summit. You have an ally like Nitish Kumar, who in 2009 was actually able to successfully stop Narendra Modi from campaigning in Bihar. And that was the level of his ideological difference with Narendra Modi. Right now you have the GDU putting pressure on the BJP on two counts. One, they want you to declare a prime ministerial candidate, so they aren't even giving you the option of a post-poll announcement. And two, they're saying that person cannot be Narendra Modi because it doesn't fit in with their ideology of what they call inclusive politics. Are you, Yashwan Sinha, virtually daring Nitish Kumar to walk out of this alliance? Because no, you sound I, like you are. No, I am not. <clears throat> Let me make my position very clear. I have said earlier that the alliance with Nitish Kumar who used to be in the Samata party, along with George Fernandez and the late yes. Vijay Singh, was forged by me. I was the president of the Bihar unit of the BJP at that time. And we came together after discussions because we felt that we needed to pool our strength in order to mm. take on an adversary like Lalu Prashad. And um, <clears throat> this alliance has stood the test of time mm. in Bihar, in Jharkhand, at the national level. We have had our differences, but the alliance has held. And I personally, because I am the father of this alliance, I would like this alliance to hold. But if My, it breaks over Narendra Modi, what would you the say? Point, the point I, I have been making is this, that um, you know you can't pick and choose a person and say he is communal and the rest of the party is secular mm. you know that is a distinction which is uh, which is flawed either the whole party is communal or the whole party is secular mm. um, and and by what that, if he decides the whole of bjp is not secular if it decides to go under the leadership of narendra modi what if that is the argument that nitish kumar no makes? then this argument will not be uh, will not be logical and it will be difficult to accept this that under narendra modi bjp is not secular under somebody else, it is secular. You know, it is this distinction. And you know, you know my background. Yes. I don't come from uh, what they generally describe as a communal background. You don't come I, from a Sangh Parivar I background come, is what you're I, saying. I come from a secular background or so-called secular background. But I feel that this argument cannot wash that a party is uh, secular but individuals within the party may be coming So in other words, you hope that the alliance with Nitish stays, but you do not accept the logic that has been put forth by him. So if, if, if the BJP were to declare Narendra Modi as a candidate, which is what you think should happen for prime ministership, and if on that point the Janata Dal United walks out, your response would be, so be it. You're willing to take that risk. I'll be very sorry if uh, that were to happen. And I think uh, the leaders of the BJP should reason with um, uh, the leaders of JDU and, uh, and convince them that, uh, you know, the BJP is a secular party and everybody else is secular. Naren Modi is also secular and therefore, you know, they are walking up out of the uh, alliance is not uh, well founded. Do you see Narendra Modi as a secular candidate? Do you, do you see him as your most secular face? Because given the shadow of 2002, there could be a different consequence been, on the national stage than in Gujarat. No, this, uh, the, the 2002 riots were very unfortunate. And um, since then, you know, unlike in the case of other riots, mm. including the anti-Sikh riots in Delhi, somehow a section of people have been harping on this theme repeatedly that as if that was the um, the first riot which took place. Riots have taken place, 
horrible riots have taken place everywhere in many places but none of this has attached itself to an individual like the 2002 Gujarat riots to mm. Narendra Modi and this has been deliberately done by those who are opposed to him unfortunate but today the situation in Gujarat is different even in the hardcore Muslim constituencies the BJP has scored victories in this from all accounts Muslims also have voted for though without a single uh, Muslim candidate be giving a ticket. even then even then the Muslims have voted in substantial numbers for the BJP in uh, in in uh, Gujarat and therefore to label Narendra Modi on the basis of a single issue as non-secular as communal is not being fair so if me. Nitish Kumar were to walk out on this issue the party should be willing to take that knock on its chin suppose suppose things go as you have prophesized or you have advised and Mr. Nitish Kumar is not open to the reason that you hope he would be open to the BJP should be willing to lose an ally in Bihar do you believe Nitish Kumar needs the BJP as much as the BJP needs Nitish Kumar that's a question of judgment you what know. is your judgment uh, <laughs> my my you know we under the alliance with with uh, with uh, and with Jharkhand separated in alliance with uh, JDU we contest 15 Lok Sabha seats mm. in uh, Bihar and the JDU contests 25 uh, the numbers speak for themselves uh, in Jharkhand we have 14 mm. Lok Sabha seats and uh, we contest all the seats so as far as Bihar number of seats are concerned Jharkhand Jharkhand is a smaller state Bihar is a larger state with 40 Lok Sabha seats we are almost equal mm. you know the point I'm making is it's a question of 15 seats in alliance with Nitish Kumar and um, who knows uh, some uh, BJP leaders say Nitish Kumar has insulted Narendra Modi do you do you see it that way I I wouldn't see it in that light but I would certainly say that the manner in which that famous dinner was cancelled yes you know the, the, uh, I the, was, dinner, I, the dinner for the BJP in Patna yes uh, I was not present in Patna at that um, in that meeting but when I read about it I felt very sorry you refer to the dinner that was cancelled because Narendra Modi posters were put up in Patna yes and they were all there all the BJP leadership entire leadership was there in Patna for the executive committee meeting yes. and that dinner was cancelled at the last moment and then people went and uh, remonstrated with uh, Nitish Kumar and then things settled down now that shows that BJP will go out of its way to retain mm. this uh, this alliance, but then Tali dono hat se hai. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for Retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.